The gods send us labors. And the promise of favor. Riches and glory. But only for those who can earn it. Everyone, this is Sears Trivia, and what you just saw is the trailer for Total War Troy's brand new Mythos DLC. And in this upcoming DLC, we will be getting a brand new game mode where the game will finally fully embrace Greek mythology. As three mythical creatures in the Lyrnan Hydra, the Patriarch Griffin, and Cerberus are added to the game, where during each campaign, the player can choose to participate in a story-driven hunting quest for only one of these three legendary creatures to add them to your roster once you tame them in an epic showdown at the end of the hunting quest. And these legendary creatures would then become an epic agent that you can embed into any army. But unlike how epic agents work before, not only can these epic agents perform actions on the campaign map, if they are embedded in your army and you're playing the Mythos game mode, these agents will now fight on the battlefield alongside your army and even bring some unique units with them to aid them in battle. For example, the Lyrna Hydra will field cultist members who supposedly restore this mythical beast after it was supposedly slain by the legendary Hercules and as a reward for finding that immortal head and nursing the whole creature back, the Hydra now offers its poisonous and restorative powers to these cultists. Whereas, the Patriarch Griffin can bring along an army of flying griffins, and Cerberus can summon the Shades of Haiti to aid you both on and off the battlefield. And on top of these new additions, the truth behind the myth take on mythical creatures like the Cyclops, Minotaur, Giants, Centaurs, Harpies, Satyrs, Gorgons, Sirens, and all the Greek mythical creatures that was in the original game will all receive a complete makeover as they will now fully embrace their mythical origins and gain new powers in this new game mode. And gods, of course, will take center of stage as gaining divine favor with them will now directly result in them showing up on the battlefield high in the sky as you will see their powerful abilities granted to your armies to help you turn the tide as, say, Poseidon can literally allow you to summon a huge tidal wave to damage enemy troops while Zeus can help you rain thunderbolts directly into enemy lines. Now, this DLC is still in development and is set to release on September 2nd on both the Epic Game Store and Steam, as after a one-year exclusivity with Epic, Total War Troy will finally be released on Steam, and we are a way off from that release. So I'm actually not allowed to show you any gameplay footage today, but I believe CA is doing an official stream tomorrow showing off the new mythical creature questline for the Hydra. So if you want to get a first glimpse of this new DLC, definitely tune in tomorrow. As for myself, I'll be allowed to show off the first 100 turns of the Cerberus questline starting on August 6th. Now, I know there are historical fans out there who are probably less excited about this new Mythos DLC, and were probably unhappy with the truth behind the myth take in the original game. 
as it still featured a lot of single entity units like minotaurs and cyclops and had powerful heroes with powerful abilities. Well, fortunately for you, launching alongside this new Mythos DLC will be a free LC that will add a new historical mode where historical purists can enjoy true Bronze Age warfare without the powerful single entity units or heroes and definitely no overpowered abilities. Lastly, across all three of these game modes coming to Troy, there will be a major rebalancing for the game as the hated supply line mechanic is finally getting removed. In its place, we'll now have a brand new anti-snowball mechanic called Administration Burden, where instead of having each hero increase the upkeep for all your armies faction-wide, now every hero, unit, and settlement will add various amount of Administration Burden based on their levels to your entire faction where at higher burden levels, you will see your upkeep costs increase resource by resource, starting with food, before extending to bronze and gold. But also at the same time, a bigger administration burden also symbolizes that you have a bigger empire, and thus will bring you some benefits as well, as a large empire can now gain royal decrees and influence faster. So there's a nice trade-off between going wide and tall and between going with more armies or higher level cities. Now overall, these are a lot of exciting changes coming to Total War Troy, and I can't wait to share them all with you in the future once I do get to showcase some gameplay. So hopefully you guys are excited about this upcoming DLC, and I'll see you all in Troy on August 6th. Bye!